Alright, here's our final example. Previously, we've seen charged molecules and drawn resonance stru structure for them, but now this benzaldehyde is a neutral structure, so it's a little bit more difficult. However, you always know the rules. You always want to start somewhere around a heteroatom, and in this case, we have an oxygen uh, right next to a pi system. So, what do you do? You move the pi system to the oxygen. Pi to lone pair. Let me draw the resonance form for that. Alright, now since it's a neutral structure, you will probably encounter some creation of charges, which is slightly unfavorable, but this resonance form still exists, showing that this carbon is slightly po partially positive and this oxygen is partially negative, as you would expect, but this reinforces it through showing the resonance forms. But, however, you don't have to stop there. Here we have a pi electron system near a positive. Now we here we have moved the charge from this carbon to this carbon, and we can keep going. And once more. Okay, now going back to our original structure, we can take in all of these resonance forms and uh, look at our molecule to see where the activities might occur. From the first resonance structure we saw there's partial negative in the oxygen, partial positive in this carbon, but now there are three more partial positives that we have to consider. One right here, one right here, and one right here. Now this will come in handy in predicting reactivities for, uh, for benzene later on because these carbons will not be activated for a, a negative charge coming around, but these three carbons you really need to consider in reactions.